Hey everybody, Eileen Smith here. And today I want to give you a presentation and it's called Getting Started with Google Analytics Just for Bloggers. And bloggers have some very unique needs when it comes to Google Analytics. And I don't want you to be overwhelmed by thinking about going into Google Analytics. The things I'm going to show you today are very insightful and they're also very easy. One of the reasons it's so important to know where your traffic is coming from is so that you can discover how to get more of it. The other important thing you're going to find out in Google Analytics is who's your real traffic gems? But you also want to be able to ditch the junk. Well, just like any successful project, you know, like if you were to do a refinishing project on a nice piece of furniture, you know how you have to sand it down first and then wipe it off with a tack cloth, make sure you have a super smooth surface. That's all in the prep work. And this is what you're going to need for your success with Google Analytics. You have to do some prep work. The very first step is going to be setting up your goals. Now, let's log into Google Analytics. Find your way over to the admin panel and then click on the Goals tab. Now, under the Goals tab, you'll see several choices. The one that I want to focus on is for those of you who are building an email list. And if you're blogging, I really hope you are building an email list. Don't hesitate with that. You can get started pretty easily with AWeber. But if you're using a different mail service, this works the same way. Now, this one is real important. When you're using an email service provider, you should at some point in the process of people signing up for your list, you should have a thank you page set up on your blog. And the reason you want to have that thank you page on your blog is so that you can track it in Google Analytics. You also want to just make sure that if for some reason they decide that they want to surf around and find something else on your blog, they see that thank you page. And let me just show you what my thank you page looks like. It's basically a page that thanks people for subscribing and it also reminds them that they need to check their inbox so that they can click on the confirmation link. So this is a page that you want to track in Google Analytics. And if you notice up at the top of the page, the URL is slash thank you. So back over to Google Analytics, the goal name will be thank you. The goal will be active. The goal type is URL destination. The goal URL will be slash thank you and we'll use a head match and the goal value, which is optional, will be $1. But I want you to fill in $1 or any other value that you want to assign, but I do want you to have a numeric value in that goal value. Another popular type of goal that you probably want to assign is a goal that will track the number of pages per visit. Simple. Just go in, name your goal. In this case, I'm going to name my goal more than two pages. Of course, make it active. Click off pages per visit. And in this case, I'm making it greater than two and then save it. So the reason you want to have goals set up, you'll see later on, but like I said, we're doing the prep work. We're sanding down the old dresser that we want to refinish. 
okay, we're still not ready to start looking at our reports yet. We're actually pulling out that tack cloth, getting rid of all those little particles that were left when we were doing our sanding. Okay, go with me here on this analogy of refinishing a piece of furniture because the next thing we want to focus on is traffic from Google search. So the easiest way to do that is our step number two, connect Google Webmaster Tools to Google Analytics. Now don't be afraid. I know when I say Google Webmaster Tools, people, you know, they get a little bent out of shape. Take a deep breath. It's so super simple. I did a video showing how to do it, but it's so super simple that I'll tell you right now, Basically, all you need to do is make sure you're logged into both accounts, enter your URL into the space to connect the two accounts, and bam, you're done. Now you're ready to get some meaningful insights from Google Analytics. So you're probably wondering, where do people go when they visit your blog? And for the answer to that, you're going to navigate over to the site content reports and click on all pages. Now on this site content report, you're going to see the most popular pages on your blog and they're going to be ranked in order of popularity. Now, the reason I want you to go to this report first is I want you to think about these 10 pages that you see here. First, ask yourself, are these the pages that I want people to go to? Then you can also say to yourself, what's similar about these pages? Is the content similar? Is that content the type of content that I tell people my blog offers? So hopefully those things are all lined up. Like for example, in my case, my blog offers blogging tips, social media optimization, and YouTube tutorials. So let's see, what do I have here? I have something about Twitter. Okay, that's social media. We have blogging, guest posting, guest blogging, blogging tips backlinks, extensions for YouTube, a successful blogger, and SEO. So that lets me know that I am moving in the right direction. I'm bringing people to my site, giving them the promise that they're going to learn about blogging and social media and how to be a successful blogger. And that's the pages that they're going to. So that's a good thing. Hopefully your blog is lined up similarly. Okay, next we want to look at how did people find the blog? And for that, you're going to go to your traffic reports, which is under sources and all traffic. Here you will see your top traffic sources. Hopefully these are sources that are relevant to your blog. Of course, you want to get some Google organic traffic on, on my report here. You'll see that I have feed burner. So that means my subscribers are coming. There's, um, some social networks. There's a couple of other blogs and this is blogs that are related to my niche and social networks that I often visit. So take those two pieces of information and tie them together. Are you, is your traffic coming from where you want it to come from? And are they going to the pages that you want them to visit? So this is where Google Analytics is starting to give you a little bit of insight on your blog that you may not have had before. 
I'm moving on. Now let's find out where the rubber meets the road. This is when those goals that we set up really come into play. So keep in mind, no matter what report you're on, look up at the top and see if you see the options to click on your goal sets. You may not have that option on every page depending upon how deep you are into the reports on Google Analytics. But whenever you see that option for goal sets, go ahead and click that on. And then you'll see down at the bottom side, half of the report that you're going to get extra columns here, depending upon how many goals you have set up. In this case, we want to look at the thank you page. So you would click on thank you so that it'll bring the highest conversion up to the top of the list. Let me give you a little demonstration here. I'm over in Google Analytics and I'm in traffic sources and I don't want all traffic. I just want to look at my referrals, which means I'm not going to look at any search engine traffic. Okay. The first thing on the list there is Facebook. But what I want to do is click on that goal set and look at the thank you goal conversion will sort that by clicking it. Let's scroll down to the bottom of the page because we want to show more rows in this particular view just to get a little more information. Because uh, we want to see where we're getting like 100 visits, a couple hundred visits or in one case over 500 visits like Facebook. And then you can see over here in this column, these are the people that signed up because they made it to that thank you page. Okay. Now you can also hone in on your social media conversion tracking by goals. See, I told you the goals are really important. If you don't have these goals set up in the beginning, you're not going to see these reports. That's why it's so important. So if we go under traffic sources, click on the social reports and under conversions up at the top of the page, you'll see goals and you can click to select which goals you want to see. You may not want to track all of these goals or pay attention to all of them at one time. Okay, now I'm going to go back over into Google Analytics because I want you to see this is important because this helps you determine if you're spending too much time on one given social network or another, where should you invest your time? So let's go over to those traffic reports under social, click on conversions. And remember, scroll way up to the top of the page. This is where you're going to be able to select the goals that you want. So let's stick with the thank you page goal for now. So I'm going to click unclick everything else except for thank you. So now that shows that a lot of people are coming from YouTube and signing up for my email list. Thank you, YouTube. Now let's try a different metric. I know that a lot of you guys have a resources page on your blog as well. And that's where you have most of your affiliate products and you also make recommendations to people for things that will make them successful with their endeavors. So let's try the resources page and see in this case, it's Facebook. So a couple more things I want to show you. Let's scroll up all the way to the top. Remember, no matter what report that you're on, you can always go up to the top and change the date range. The default date range will always be the last 30 days. So let's 
track progress ever since the beginning of the year. And in this case, we have, let's have all the goals selected. So you get an idea, hey, wait, maybe I'm not wasting my time over on Facebook because Facebook is rising to the top of this report. It's letting me know there are a lot of conversions out of all those goals that I set, time on site, how many pages they visit, all the different pages. Facebook is at the top of the report. Who knew? I didn't realize Pinterest would even be on the report, but there they are. Now, Blogger, remember I have two Blogger blogs, so I'm expecting to see Blogger. In fact, I would have thought Blogger was a little higher. Stumble Upon. We always talk about Stumble Upon having high bounce rates. See, this is why you have to have a look at your own reports. Don't go by what my reports look like. Don't go by what some social media guru or somebody who has the number one selling book in the New York Times bestsellers list. The only way you can track your progress is by checking your own stats. Because sometimes you'll see things in there that'll tell you you're going in the wrong direction. So that's why you should at least, at minimum, check your stats once a month just to make sure that you're on course, you're on path. You come back to this video, or if you're seeing this as a presentation on SlideShare, or if you're watching as a video, I'm sorry, or if you're listening to it as my podcast, which is the Miss Eileen Speaks podcast. By the way, now's a good time to give me a rating and review over in iTunes if you haven't done that already. Now it's time for a bonus tip. You guys know I love giving you a bonus tip. Ooh, this is so exciting. <laughs> okay, let's go back over into a traffic report. We're just going to go into the direct traffic report. Okay. And we'll click on one of our goals. Now we'll come down to the columns and let's just sort by more than one and a half minute. Let's use that goal. We'll sort by that. And of course we want to see more rows. So we'll see a couple hundred rows. Okay. Now we want to remember what this report was and how many clicks we had to get into this report. Google added a new feature because they know how intense these reports are and it's called the shortcut. So now all I have to do is give this a name and I'll say 1.5 minutes. And now the next time I log in to Google Analytics, I won't have to go through all those steps again. I won't have to remember what those steps were. I'll just click on my shortcut and this is where they show up. Over in the left hand column and they're actually underneath the dashboards. So click on shortcuts and you'll see I've set up a few of them already. So that's your bonus tip for today. Well, if you want more Google Analytics training, be sure to get in touch with me. You can do that by signing up for my email list. And that's basicblogtips.com slash emails. Thank you. Sign up for my newsletter. That way you can stay on top of all the latest with blogging, social media, YouTube, and podcasting. And in order to sign up, just go over to basicblogtips.com slash email. And I'll chat with you soon.